Why does racism exist? The white folks that we interact with on a daily basis have no intentions of letting us know why. So let me go ahead and break it down. The people that classify themselves as white love to say that black people are a minority, when in fact, we are not a minority, but it's in fact them that are minorities. Not only do white people make up less than 9% of the world population, they are also what we call genetically recessive, meaning their genes, regardless of who they mix with, are masked or the appearance of who they are isn't shown forth in the strongest propensity. You have five groups of people of color. You have the black man, the brown man, the red man, the yellow man, and the white man. When we come into contact, whether it be a black man or a black woman with a white woman or a white man, although each offspring has a copy of the dominant gene and the recessive gene, because we as black people are genetically dominant, we mask the appearance of whiteness. We can look at Barack Obama, an African father and a European mother, but apparently still black. We can look at Amory. Amory has one Asian parent and one black parent. However, she's still black. Always remember the very first individual that was found in this world was a black queen by the name of Dinkesh. In my very first video, I named her Lucy. That is the European term. Dinkesh was found in Ethiopia showing that not only is Africa the origins of all humanity and civilization, but it was in fact that a black woman that birthed all of us, all of our mitochondrial DNA will lead back to. So any misunderstandings on who came first was discovered years ago. But why does racism exist? How have we not, as black people, been able to love them enough, pray them enough, been tolerant enough, diversify enough, integrate enough? Why has, no matter what we've done to show this group of people that we're non-threatening and that we're no issue, does it not make a difference? It stems from the fear of going extinct of white people. Now, if you're the smallest group of people in the world, you're making up less than 9%. You're dying off sooner than you're being born and then you're genetically recessive, what must you do to ensure that you do not go extinct? To ensure you have the best opportunity of living for the next two centuries. You must always kill the dominant gene, the dominant gene being African people. You must incarcerate the dominant gene because this leads to decreased procreation. You are decreasing the probability of them having children. This is a numbers game. You must always come up with lofty tricks to depopulate. It's about white folks not being genetically annihilated and black folks not being able to procreate our genetic dominancy. Why does it seem like the darker black person gets treated the worst? Because you have more melanin pigment, therefore you are more of a threat. And many of us cannot truly grasp that we cannot love them out of this. We cannot pray them out of this. It's a matter of life or death for them. And the sooner you black person understand that, the sooner you will stop wasting your time and everything that is happening to you, you'll understand, okay? The sooner we'll understand, oh, that's why you keep throwing black men in prison. You throw black men in prison because you don't want them to have children. You are turning black men and black women gay and lesbian because you don't want us to have children. Oh, you're consistently pushing interracial dating because you don't want black men and black women to procreate. The more blackness that we procreate in this world, the more likeliness that whiteness will go extinct and be annihilated. So that's why racism exists. And remember, today is a beautiful day. Dr. Francis Chris Wilson's birthday is today. Earth return is today. To Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, the queen who showed us why this existed. We love you today, tomorrow, forever. See y'all at the Blackest Truth. It's the Goddess Neath Night. Bye.